this book really has started a, a, a movement or an awareness, certainly, certainly a level of awareness in this country about the work that grandmothers and different groups are doing throughout the world, but also birthing additional groups and other activist projects here in the United States. Exactly. Um, as I have traveled to, on book tour to talk about the book, um, grant, often those sessions turn into organizing meetings. Um, in Oregon, they were interested in organizing to stop genetically mo uh, modified seeds. In Colorado, they were interested in gun control issues. In Utah, they were interested in stopping pollution. So the issues are different everywhere, but grandmothers have begun organizing. In Kansas City, an indigenous woman named Little Bird stepped up and said, before you leave, give me your email addresses and I will organize a meeting for grandmothers here. So. I am giving 100% of my author royalties from this project to grandmothers who are raising children orphaned by AIDS in 15 African countries, and I am excited to see that that's kindling interest in grandmother activism in the United States, too.